The destination is on your left. Blue Spring State Park. Arrive. All right, good evening. It's uh, 8, 10. Look how much daylight's still out here. I'll need pizza for dinner. Well, technically, a warmed up flatbread pizza for dinner. Again, I'm still testing, still trying to figure out how to make this work. I, th I think I'm there. I mean, I don't think of anything right now, um, equipment wise. But anyhow, I am retiring. I built out this Subaru and trailer called the Subaru Pearl. This is just the name that came to me when I got the car. And then um, the little utility trailer, kayak utility trailer with the uh, rooftop tent on it. Pogo, so Pearl and Pogo. These are our vehicles to travel. I want to travel far and wide and uh, I've traveled in the past at the midlife midlife um <laughs> midlife <coughs> excuse me midlife <clears throat> graduated in 2000 from uh, University of Phoenix I still have that student loan by the way I don't know how many times I've paid that debt over but still have a big a balance bigger than what I started off with. But anyhow, that's a separate story. Graduated in 2000. Quit my job of 20 some years and um, went to California to to study yoga with Bikram. Uh, hot uh, Bikram yoga. It was uh, the thing at the time. I left a career job. Drove to Indiana, visited a friend up there, and then drove to California, had some awesome camping trips, just out of a Buick, a Buick sedan with a little pup tent, no equipment, little single burner stove, and just had a great time. I, I, oh, I could tell stories about this, but anyhow, I've had a taste of this traveling. And after I was done with that night, well, actually during the nine weeks of uh, yoga instructor training to become a Bikram certified instructor, um, we had Sundays off. So Saturday after our practice, I uh, would have some food in the car and I would take up into the mountains just north of LA, I'd pass through Malibu Beach, I'd pass through um, Yogananda's Shrine. A lot of times I'd stop there either on the way out or on the way back. Yogananda Shrine over there in L.A., North L.A. Sweet, sweet place. Definitely going to stop there again. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, on my Saturday nights, I'd travel up to the... I'm going to have to look that range up. But the mountains just north of L.A. there. Where the Hollywood sign is at. Up in the... Not really mountains. But it was great. Did some hiking. Did some. Some nights were really cold and I froze. Um, couldn't have fires. Um, cooked little dinners on that single burner stove. And just, just really developed a taste for traveling light. But then, you know, when I developed both this system out, I wanted more, a lot more comforts. Because I want to go a lot further. Hey, Phoenix. There you are, puppy. You enjoying the air conditioner? It's 
cooling the place down pretty nice. All right, go back to sleep. Might just woke you up, see if you're sleeping. Coming in, Phoenix. Get your feet wet. Hmm? Ranger said there were some deer over here. They're watching us. I got the zoom on, so we're not that close. <laughs> One's wagging his tail. I think they're more curious about the dog than about me. What do you think, Phoenix? Oh, there they go. There you go. I complain about these campsites, campgrounds that haven't uh, developed their pads yet. You can see the whole thing forms like a conical shape. All the edges are higher. The center is the lowest. If you get anywhere on the, the side, you have a huge slope. If you get in the middle, you're gonna get wet when it rains. Well, your feet are gonna get wet. Look at this. Look how, I don't know if you can tell the, the lowness, but we're right in the middle of the bowl to get kind of somewhat level and comfortable. Hoping it doesn't rain. This would be another great spot, a little bit higher up, a little bit better. Probably the only reason it's not divided because of tree roots. But, have you walked on tree roots all morning long? Or at night, after a glass of wine? Them's trippers. Okay, I'm starting on dinner. First stop is my beverage. The background noise, the fan is running from the air conditioner. Phoenix is inside chilling. The air coming out of the air conditioner is 60, 61.5, 62 degrees. Coming out of the mouth of the air conditioner. so much simpler when you're camping. You want some hints while you're camping? Let me share a few I've learned. I like two ounces with my seven ounce Coke. Um, Pre-measured bottles. It, they seal great. They're available on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I use them for more and more stuff. More prep while you're planning to pack. Cheers. It is getting ready to storm. I'm gonna start on dinner. This was the first item on the dinner list. It'll be the last. Well, I'll be switching to wine. All right, I bought a rice maker. It seems so easy and convenient. This is the first time I'm actually using it. And my wife would have a fit one because I'm not rinsing it. Two, because I'm measuring it. But, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna cook in this fire pit tonight because I don't want to break out my personal one. Last time I cooked on one of these grills, my wife had a fit because she didn't think I didn't clean it. So this time I'm showing a little bit more detail. Let's clean a nice big area right here. It's really on this side too. A little bit of Bromer's soapy solution. Just you know. and right there. That's where we want it. This is one of the best starters ever. <laughs> Needs a few more minutes to cook down. Oh, oh, oh I love it. Put a for her and the rest for me. This is 
turbo. That's a chicken liver. Those are uh, bell pepper she loves. Some rice. Let that grill get good and hot. I think in about five minutes we can start cooking. Just gonna go with dinner. The room and cook's almost gone, so I gotta be prepared. That's good for now. All right, I think my steak is ready to flip. Or at least rotate. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. Turn the spray just a little bit. You napped all afternoon in the air-conditioned tent. You ready for dinner? You're winking at me. All right, we're, we're gonna have dinner here pretty soon. We gotta wait for yours to cool off. Mind of goodness. Did you know that and this is what I learned when I first started working in the restaurant. If you touch and it's firm like that, well done. If it's somewhere in between, it's medium. And if it's real spongy like this meat, it's, it's rare. So that's like medium, well done. That's well done and that's rare. So I'm gonna take it off because I think it's perfect. Is there bubbling a little bit? I already gave something some. Oh, it's still too much for me. All right, I've been teasing Phoenix a little bit just to get her appetite whetted. That's our meal. Some ribeye cooked, asparagus raw, bell pepper raw, and rice. And uh, let's see if she eats. She's eating. Mikey likes it. In this case, Phoenix likes it. Let's see how much she eats. I didn't put any of her cereal in there this time. Oh my God. It's like a vacuum cleaner. You better not have a sick tummy on me tonight. All right. Here's mine. The rice, asparagus, the ribeye. My wine. All right, it's time to enjoy my dinner. I'll let it cool off a moment. I don't know. Just like to let it Come closer to room temperature. It's been a long, hot day. Thunder in the neighborhood last night, thunder in the neighborhood most of the afternoon today, and not a drop of rain. Which, you know, the rain sucks, but the cool, coolness during the rain is cool. I mean, yeah. She's, she's liking that. And of course, dinner is outstanding. She's touching my feet. If I move, she's gonna move. Okay. Look at that. I got up twice. Once to get my wine in there. I forgot a nap once I had to get up a second time to get a nap in. She didn't move. Empty bowl equals full billy equals content dog. I'm content as well. Sorry, Bambi. You're unique for us. Oh, them front feet. This is it. This is my first time. The mouth, the bowl, the grand entrance of the Blue Springs. big and glamorous as some of the other ones, but it's, it's pristine, the bushes all around it. 